Okay, no, I'm going. We're going. Hi. All right. How how did you guys meet? How do we meet? Uh, we met originally online. I would say just because someone who uh, randomly tweeted both of us on Twitter. Uh, it, it tweeted me, and, and if I'm not mistaken, it tweeted you as well, and said, uh, Hey, Matt, I think you should meet Rebby Sky. She's incredible. I think you guys have a lot in common. You guys should really, like, meet one another and, like, go out because I think you guys have really hit it off. Someone that neither of us knows. Like, we have never spoken to this person. We're not friends with this person. Just, like, a random person who, I guess, was a fan of his and said, You guys should be together. And, uh, we started, I think, after that cyber flirting. We were tweeting one another. And eventually, I was booked on an event in, uh, on January 15th, 2011 in Poughkeepsie, New York. And just a couple days before the event, if I'm not mistaken, you got booked on the it. The day before. So she ended up being there. So it was it, meant to be. We, it was kismic. You know, we, we <laughs> believed in destiny. No one said And uh, it, it, kismic is my favorite word right now. Uh, anyway, uh, we met that day in Poughkeepsie, New York. And, uh, and, and, you know, we just interacted a little bit, but we talked on the phone a lot after that. And then... You know, next thing you know is, uh, bam, Sky Hart is born. Ready Sky and Matt Hardy. Wait, you didn't say about the, um, that fan had actually tweeted us that night and said, hey, did you guys meet up? And I was like, well, being a smart ass, I was like, <laughs> well, how else are we supposed to consummate the marriage? There you have it. That's what led to all of this. <laughs> Sarcastic. That tweet. Yeah. All right. What else is there? Um, I think it's, okay. How are you two alike and how are you different? Uh, I, I think we're both alike uh, as far as the way we portray ourselves to the to the world, to the public especially. We both kind of treat our lives like open books. Uh, we're both very open. Uh, you know, overshare. We overshare. I'm sure. She attacks people. I don't. That's another big difference. I didn't say attack people. I said type people. Overshare type people. Oh, I thought she said attack people. Sometimes she attacks people. <laughs> and it's part of... It just, ver just verbally, you know, I'm real laid back, I'm southern, I I'm mosey, you know. No, no, this is how we're alike. <laughs> oh, but it's also how, how we're different, too. Hater. So that's all we got in common? No, we got a lot in common. We also have uh, 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 we're, uh, the sexual proudness <laughs> and attraction between both of us is crazy. It's mad. Uh, we, we definitely have that in common. We I'm like sure each other. That. That's what we have in common. Uh, and, and we do. I mean, we, we like nice things. We, we like to, you know, we like to look nice. Uh, we, we, we both put on makeup at the same time. I, I don't really, but, you know, we'll get ready and, and do our stuff together. I mean, we, we both try to take care of ourselves. Uh, we both enjoy going out and having nice dinners. There's a lot of things we really enjoy, but I, I've wrestled for 15 years on a, a full-time scale, like, across the world. And I've been everywhere except Antarctica, and I've traveled everywhere. But at, at my heart, at my core, I am a, a country boy from Cameron, North Redhead. Carolina. Yeah, I mean, you can say that word. That's a synonym. Super hip. Um, and, you know, when it comes country to... Country ass. When it comes to uh, approaching <laughs> things in life, I, I'm very slow. I'm laid back. I'm easygoing. I, I like to say I'm a, a, a southern mosey. Where she, I being think from he, Queens, New York, Latin is a New York minute. Oh, he's got to have it now. I boom, think, boom, boom. Like now, right now, right now, right now. He's just a procrastinator. And even if he lived in Jersey, it would be the same. But I do agree. That is something we definitely have different. Not in common. What's that word? Latin blood, New York minute. <laughs> she attacks people, just like I said. <laughs> I do not. She'll probably start attacking me shortly. Oh my god! I, <laughs> and and one, one thing I can say that we do have. I, I've never been with someone that I have like real uh, emotionally uh, intense arguments with, and, and we do have those. But usually, I, I learn a lot out of out of those because she will. She'll she'll call me out on she'll call me out on my shit. You know, if she needs to do it, and and that's one thing I appreciate. And and I think. Two, if I'm right about something and I feel I am, she'll make me fight for my point. So uh, I think those those things have been have been good that I've gotten from her. You know, in, in the differences between us. Uh, and I also, I'm like a lot of a planner and I like to know things in advance. And he's kind of just like, wait till last minute. We'll get there when we get there kind of thing. Uh, yeah. And that's just, that's just a nightmare. Okay. What makes you two a unique couple? I think what makes us unique is that uh, because we do have so much stuff in common and, and we do love each other and we are so attracted to one another, I, I think there's so many things that we share in common uh, that we can definitely make it and we can stick together and we can be that team that we want to be, especially uh, for the rest of our lives. But there's also so many differences between us. Uh, you know, we call ourselves a, a, a yin-yang. You know, I, I'm, I'm the yin, she's the yang, or she's the yin, I'm the yang. But anyway, we, we have differences that actually, you know, fit together. <laughs> fit together and I think they, they complement each other in a lot of ways so you know it's kind of like that you know that, that real interesting dynamic between us that I think makes us great as a, as a, as a combo.
I think it's like two extremes. Like it's either we have so much in common and, and one area of life and then like you look at another area and it's just like we couldn't be any more opposites but it works out. Because some people are just like kind of complacent and it doesn't really matter if they're like have a lot of differences or if they do it's not a big thing but like when we have differences it's like oh my god. Yeah I mean we, we, we might fight we might argue but when it's all said and done we'll get together back on the same page and, and we truly believe that uh, we don't fight for uh, one another individually, we, we, we fight for the, the, the sake of the team. So I hope say. you remember this next time we fight. Shoot. <laughs> what is your most interesting story as a couple? You go ahead. You go first. Oh, okay. Um, there are so many. Interesting story. Interesting story. I feel like everything we do is... is it, it, I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask. We might be born to some people. Wait, what is it? What do you think? Uh... I mean, there's a bunch of these that come up. I think a lot of our interesting stories, though, either end with, like, you know, like a fight or trouble. Cops. Or, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of where it's going to go. Or, or something dirty. And I'm trying not to be dirty right now, considering this is national TV, you know, product and whatnot. Anyway, uh, there, there's a lot of dirty sex stories I'm sure we could tell. Ah, and, because, you know, I mean, it's so, you know, when we're trying to consummate that marriage to get to this point. It's not We're not married yet. <laughs> the story I was going to tell, we were actually in Atlanta. She had had a show... Uh, I'd actually had a show a couple hours away, and I drove down to meet her, and it was the weekend WrestleMania was going on with a company that I'd worked oh, for for God. 12 years. <laughs> and uh, we were at, at the hotel, and we'd seen some of her friends, and we were feeling good. It was late. We hadn't seen each other for a few days. And uh, we, we both just had a couple glasses of wine, whatever. And for some odd reason, we decided to go in the bathroom, and we were making out uh, pretty graphically in the bathroom at that point. Uh, and it was a nice hotel. Security came in. Well, someone tried taking a picture under the stall. Like, someone in the stall next to us tried taking a picture. Yeah, someone's trying to get that uh, picture from the Smut Magazine, from the Star <laughs> Magazine. And uh, an, an upskirt of Rebby Sky and an upskirt of Matt Hardy. Anyway, uh, I wasn't even wearing a skirt, I want to say. Uh, and uh, security came and actually escorted us out. And I know we were about to split, but we talked to him and we got out with just a warning, but like, all of the wrestling fans were there, and they knew, like, oh, my God, Matt Hardy and Ruby Scott, they're going to get arrested for having sex in a public place. Oh, my God, it's in the, in the, in the bathroom of a hotel. And uh, everything ended up being cool. But that, that that's kind of like a story that typifies a relationship in, in many ways. I, well, that, no, I wouldn't say that's not, like, a, a typical Friday night out. I mean, no, it's not that we're I'm, – I'm talking about if I'm saying, like, a, a crazy, interesting story. That doesn't, that definitely doesn't, because we are like, and we both, we love to just come home. I love to be boring. I love to watch TV. She's gotten into a little bit of TV. She's not a TV person. I, you know, I love to work out. I love to do cardio. I love to be out in the woods. I love to be out in the wilderness. You know, we both love to go out and eat and down. We do a ton of normal people stuff, but if we do go extreme and, uh, and whatever the situation calls for, we end up doing it pretty big. Oh, God. All right. I think, I think we're good, Flacco. Nice. Now just tell them how much you love me. Uh, I love her so much that I want to be with her until the day I die. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Hi, I think we did good. Yeah, I think so too. They're we gonna just hate us. No. I'm gonna. This wedding is gonna be is gonna be badass. I, I'm, it's not just gonna be epic. If I take care of it, it's gonna be cosmic. I'm gonna make it that good. <laughs>